Hello data managers, this is Mr. Tim here. I understand that you guys are doing a lab on radiation and are measuring uh, distance from light source versus temperature. And so I wanted to show you guys a couple ways to um, graphically represent your data that you guys are collecting in your table. Uh, the first way I'm going to show you is inside of Apple's app called Numbers. It's similar to if you've used Google Sheets and things like that, but we want to try out numbers here. So make sure that you have the app downloaded. When you open it, uh, it takes you to this screen. And of course, to start something new, we're going to click on the plus sign where it says Create Spreadsheets. And once we do that, uh, it gives us a bunch of different like templates, different options here. All we want to do right now is do a blank one. So I'm going to select blank. OK. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I do have to enter in my data um, that I've received from a table. So you guys should ha already have your data going. And I also want to go ahead and give my table a name. You see up at the top there where it says table one. If you just double click on that, you're going to be able to change the name of your table. And I know Ms. Warren and Mr. Setti, you probably have different names that you want for this, but I'm just going to call mine distance versus temperature. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to click the done. There we go. I have a table name here. Um, and so we, the independent variable is going to be our distance. So I'm actually going to label that here on my first cell, this A1. So to label something, just double click on that cell. And this one is going to be distance. And then let's say, and these are just numbers that I've made up. You guys are make sure that you plug in your data that you did from your experiments. But I'm going to say that I'm going to start at a distance of zero. And I'm going to go up in multiples of five. So I'm going to do the next one's 10. And I'm going to go up to 20. I'm going to say that those are feet. And then my dependent is my temperature. So I'm going to say temperature. And remember, to edit a cell, you have to double click on it. But once you double click on it, then you can just click once, as long as that keyboard is up. Uh, so let's say we start off when that light source was super close. It was pretty warm, like 92 degrees. And then 87 as the light source got 5 feet away. Let's say it went down to 80 at 10 feet, 75 at 15 feet, and let's say 72 at 20 feet away. These are numbers I entirely made up, so I could be completely wrong. I fully expect to be completely wrong on them if that were to be actually tested, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, so I got my data all in here. Um, I'm going to hit this button in the bottom right hand corner to make my keyboard go away. And I'm going to show you something. We have a whole bunch of extra cells here. Look at all these extra cells. I don't need them. So if you notice on the top right, we can see I have column G highlighted. You see to the right of the G, there's two vertical lines. You can click on that with your finger and then just drag it over and it's going to delete that column. And you can do the same thing for these rows down here. I don't need all these rows. So if you scroll down, you can start to pull up all these rows that you don't need. So I only need these two rows. Okay, so again, that's this little, the bars. And for the rows, it looks like an equal sign. There we go. So I have my table. Now I want to, I'm ready to go ahead and make my graph. So to insert a graph, um, you hit the plus button in the top right hand corner. And this wants to be a bar graph. And so I'm going to hit the second option here. The first option is to insert a table. The second option here is to insert different sorts of graphs. So you can see I have like a pie chart, I got a line graph, but we're going to use a bar graph for this one. So I selected that first one. And then you notice that it says, okay, tap to add data. Well, let's go ahead and tap. And then it says, tap or drag on a table to add data. So on this first temperature setting, I'm just going to click on that 92. And then you see that little blue dot to the right, bottom right of the 92. I can click and drag that over 
and you can see that my chart, my bar chart is building as I go. There we go. And I'm going to click done on the top right hand corner. And I have my chart. Um, you can move it around so it doesn't have to be all the way on the left. If you just tap on it with your finger and then drag it, and you can see when it gets like centered, you can drop it in particular places. So I got it centered with my table right now, which is kind of nice. I'm, I'm going to drop it there. Also notice it automatically has the legend up top here where it tells you the temperature. And you can, if you click on that, tap and hold on the temperature, then you can move that around as well. So I'm going to move it down here at the bottom. I just kind of like it at the bottom there. All right, also notice that in our graph, the x-axis is not labeled, the y-axis is not labeled, the graph doesn't have a title, so let's add all those things. To do that, we may make sure that the graph is selected by just tapping on it and then hitting this paintbrush in the top right-hand corner. Once we do that, we can see that, okay, for this chart, if we want to include a title, we better switch that on. Right there where it says chart title, I'm going to switch that on. You see the legend is on. I can turn the legend off or on if I want to. I'm going to keep it on. And then the x-axis, I want to make sure that that is labeled. And so where it says axis name, it's the second from the bottom. I'm going to turn that on. The y-axis, axis name is going to be down second from the bottom again. Turn that on. And so you can see that it added some generic names here. Okay, down at the on the x-axis it says category axis. On the y-axis it says value axis. And for the title it just says title. So to edit those, I just have to double click on them. So I'm going to edit the title first. I'm just going to double tap on title. And as you can see, my keyboard pops up and I can go ahead and enter in my title. And my title is very generic. You're probably going to want a more specific title. My title is just distance versus temperature. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the y-axis and the x-axis. Let's start with the x-axis. The x-axis is the distance of the light source. So I'm going to double click on category axis. If you notice, when the keyboard pops up, it kind of hides it, so you might want to scroll, click and drag with your finger on the right. So I'm going to delete category axis, and I am going to say distance. Uh, and I'm going to say that that distance is in feet. Okay. Like I said, I would ask your teacher how they want you to label your axis. And I'm going to do the same thing for the y-axis. Double click where it says value axis and go ahead and delete value axis. And that is the temperature. And that temperature, let's say that's going to be in Fahrenheit. If this was in Celsius, that would be extremely hot. Beautiful. So here we go. I have my table. I have my chart. Now from here, um, you're going to want to ask your teacher if they want just the chart or the table in the chart all in one. Uh, to share this, you're going to click the more dots. That's that dot, dot, dot in the top right corner. And then you're going to choose send a copy. Now, when you send a copy, it gives you these options. When you're finished, you're going to want to send it as a PDF file because that's a finished product. So you select PDF, and then you hit send, and then you choose how to send it. Um, your teacher may want to airdrop it, have you airdrop it to them. Their iPad might pop up, or their MacBook might pop up there. There's my MacBook. I could airdrop it. I could email it. Um, I could put it into Google Drive. Get important to Schoology if you guys use Schoology. Um, so a lot of different ways that I can share this, but ask your teacher how they want you to share it and make sure that you do that with them. The other option, if they just want the this chart here. You can take a screenshot of it by pushing, holding down the home button and the power button on your iPad. Just push them one time together. That takes a screenshot and then you can go into your photos, pull up your screenshot and if you hit this second to last key there, that's a edit tool and then where this, this second one from the top is the cropping. And so you can click and drag after you select the cropping tool 
in order to just show, and click done, to just show the chart, the table here. And then you can choose to share that by hitting the share button, however you want to share that there. All right, so that was with numbers on how to create a bar chart, a bar graph, if you simply wanted to do distance versus temperature. And we're going to check out Desmos as well.